الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد Respected viewers, brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. The Holy Quran makes mentions, A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajeem, Bismillahi r-Rahmani r-Rahim. Inna al-lazina kazzabu bi ayatina, wa astakbaru anha, la tufattahu lahum abwaadu s-sawai, wa la yadkhuluna jannata, حتى يالج الجمل في سم الخيات وكذلك نزل مجرمين صدق الله العظيم سورة الآراف ورس نمبر فورتي لو دي هو دناي اور ريوليشنز ان سفورن them for them the gates of heaven will not be opened nor will they enter the gardens until the camel goes through the needle's eye thus do we require wrong ways These verses reveal, reveal that those who are infidels or ascribe partners unto the Almighty will not enter the paradise at all until the camel goes through the eye of needle. Brothers and sisters, these verses reveal the strange thing when someone recites these verses or anyone other hears about these verses, then he thinks, what is this example? because camel is a great animal and on the other hand eye of needle is very small then how it is possible that a camel goes through the eye of needle but the reality is that whatever the examples Allah Almighty mentions in the Holy Quran have the great purpose and the great lesson. Because the verse is revealed that as it is quite impossible that a camel goes through the eye of needle similarly it is also impossible that the infidels and the and the people those who ascribe partners Allah Almighty it means they commit shirk will never enter the paradise it is as impossible that is the first because they deny the revelations of Allah Almighty when the holy messengers say to them accept Islam accept Allah's command follow them but they deny they reply that for our is the religion of our forefathers is sufficient. We 
cannot accept the religion of Islam. Due to that, Allah Almighty will enter them as a day of resurrection in the hellfire. And those who are true believers and followers of Islam and they obey the good example of the Holy Prophet Muhammad may peace and mercy of Allah be upon him and they do good acts and they fear Allah so their reward is with Allah is Allah will enter them into paradise and the day of resurrection and will forgive them their sins and will have mercy on them. This is a great reward that the believers will get at the day of resurrection. So, dear brothers and sisters, it is very necessary that we should not commit shirk or we should not disobey Allah's command so that we should be successful in this life and also in the hereafter. May Allah Almighty give us power to obey all His commands. Ameen. Amarina Idal Brahma Bhi.